before we start this podcast, there's going to be a lot of spoilers in this podcast. Deep Dive Podcast. I'm your host, Gamer and D. We are going to talk about my full spoiler review of Last of Us. So, I know what you guys are going to say. Like, oh, um, Gamer and D, why are you doing this, like, full review? Because you already did, like, each episode review. So, I just want to do this just because, like... I just want my full dot, my full thought on like everything, like on Last of Us, because like I know some of the parts that I kind of forgot to talk about, and I kind of want to talk about it again. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm gonna talk about the background again, but I just like for me each time, like each episode, the background was amazing. Like I, I like how like how it looked like. It just like it amazed me every time when I see it. I was like, "Dang!" <laughs> because like, because the thing is, I like when I played the video game and announcing it in live action. It just amazed me. It like, wow, that's just amazing. There, I really like how like every time I I look at the background, it gave me like throwbacks of just me playing the video game. And now looking at this in live action was just like beautiful. Like, I just really like it. The background and everything, man. This, woo. And it's made me glad to just, what's it called? It made me glad that I played the game. So, like, oh, there's, like, a reference or something. Like, the graph. Like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, wow. I remember that scene. Yep. Okay. Um, I want to talk about the people. Like, okay, there's, like, the actors and directors. Like, after the episodes, they always do, like, the, what's it called? Behind the scenes, or kind of, like, behind the scenes. So, they talk about the episode, and then, like, explain everything. And I like I really like that, because, like, sometimes, there's, like, some scenes that I'm like, um, what's this from? Is this from, like, the video game, or just, like, just new, th- like, a new thing? Like, example, like, like, one character. I never noticed her from the what's it called from the game i was like i don't remember her from the game and it was just a new character that they created in the live action i was like oh shoo. oh man <laughs> that's amazing yeah and i just like really like it how because like they explain everything like oh okay like there's like some easter eggs that that i forgot and they just pointed out i was like dang wow <laughs> that's that's really cool that's really cool, honestly. Honestly. Like and then like um some of the actors too. They talk about they um what they experience of um playing the characters. It, it, it's just like it's really cool how to like see like people talk about the episodes and then like them being the actors of the characters. I'm like dang, that's really cool too. They sh- just show how like people react to them. Um, them reacting to being like the characters of the of the live action, and then there there's some people who's what they called who was the voice of the video game, and then they are, they are the actors of the characters. So I I think that was a pretty cool um what's it called a pretty cool thing to uh to hear, just because I I didn't know I didn't know like some of the voice actors. I'll be honest when I played Last of Us. I didn't even, like, I didn't even see, like, the end credits. I kind of skipped that. I was like, ah, okay, I don't care, kind of thing. But it's really cool to just see, just to see that, to see that happen. The voice actors become the, the characters in live action. So, yeah, okay. Right, what? Okay. I like the infected characters and the main characters, basically. Like... Honestly, again, with, like, me playing the video game, like, I like the infection in the, um, in live action, because, like, oh, man, because back then, I kind of think, like, what if this was, like, in, like, live action form, that's gonna be really cool, and then it, it, and then now, it became live action, I was just, like, dang, like, the, what's it called, the, the, what's it called, the, I forgot the names of the, the infected, but there was like one. I think I might be wrong, but um, the blob, or 
bloat or something bloat yeah yeah i think it's named bloat that was that one was really cool to see in live action there's a couple of other ones that didn't show up but i'm uh, i'm excited to see them in like the next season and i'll get into that later because i want to make another podcast about talking about the season two uh, before season two comes out so i want to talk about that before like season two comes out yeah and characters that i like it's kind of like joel and ali because like both of them be like the be- like the main char- the two main characters that be like man dang joe <laughs> joe with um what's it called just like them playing like me playing the video game of like both of them and then now they're in live action kind of like dang that's cool to see to see to see them after like what's it called like i think it came out like 2013 and then it came out like i think last year right 2020 2023 all right yeah 2023 just like them like i'm so amazed that last of us became like live action and just like it people what's that called people was like hyped for it people was excited about it and just like dang like it's just amazing just really amazing all right and then the other characters i like it's kind of like okay it's all neutral like i felt like joe and ali both of them i like because like you know i played last of us one and last of us part two so like i have have like a um what's it called a connection to them they they gave me like throwbacks i'm like oh dang i remember playing them in like the PlayStation 3 or or the PlayStation 4 yeah so now we're gonna talk about my the ending and my thoughts so again the ending um i said i was like man i want to save this for like season two but i'm about i'm gonna say it now just because i'm kind of interested because when um when ali um what's that called like when ali woke up and then kind of like ask joe like oh what happened and then they'd be like oh um it didn't work out but the good news is like that there's like other people that have the same thing that you have so we're good kind of thing and i was like oh <laughs> i was like dang i was like joe you're doing the wrong thing man i I played part two, so I I really know what's gonna happen there. The trust, the trust, man, like gang. And then, yeah, just like I say, the ending was kind of like, oof. Like I was like, it was good, but I was like, that cliffhanger. I'm like, dang. Like people are now gonna kind of curious what's gonna happen in the next season. But if you play the video game, guys, you know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be pretty sad. And yeah, I'm gonna save that. But okay. So this is my thoughts on the whole Last of Us season one. Um, I be honest, I really like it. I re really, I didn't have like an expectation because I'm like season one was basically like it's easy for for in, in my opinion it's easy to it's um easy to um what's that called to make uh, like to make basically it's like there's no like tough decision that you need to make like until like part two but like part one was basically like like affected and then the ending you kind of need to to focus on but basically yeah i think it was really good i really like how um what's it called pedro pascal that's the only actor that i know from last of us pedro pascal i really like how he acted as joel i like dang <laughs> that's that's pretty cool and now he's like oh god he's in the star wars now so i'm like dang since i like, watch i like watching star wars i'm like wow pedro pascal in last of us and in star wars and maybe in um marvel too oh i'm like dang he's he's um what's it called he's blowing up man he's getting popular and the Joe, the Joe actor, or not, not the Joe actor, sorry about that, um, the Ali character, I only know her from, like, Game of Thrones, but I didn't watch Game of Thrones yet, I'm, I'm planning to, like, read the book, but I heard the guy who made the book, the, people said he takes a very long time to read the books, so I'm gonna probably just watch the, 
the series. And yeah, so I'm gonna just say it's a for me it's a seven seven out of ten, just because like I really like how everything is. I just don't want to put it at an eight out of ten because I'm like uh I I think there's some things that they can like be what's it called they can do better on, but it it's too it's good honestly it's really good. The real question is like season two. That's basically my, uh, my opinion about like okay, where does this, where does this go? Because part two, if you play it right, hey, you're good. But if you just stick in the video game, I don't know how like the whole fan fan base is gonna react to. And yeah, that's it for this podcast. If you like this podcast, hit the like button. And if you're a new person, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.